Very bad. I ordered from AliExpress online site. The name of the store, one of the two stores. Basically five. Three was good. Um, the first store was Kids Beauty Store, and the other one was TPSAADE Store. I ordered both suits for my husband and myself for my wedding. And when both pieces came, they were nothing like what I ordered. I did not get the amount of pieces from the tailor that he displayed that I would get. And when I asked for a refund, they were not ready and open to give me that my refund. With the dress, it wasn't made. The train was very short and um, very disappointed. And I would not recommend them to me. Okay, I was supposed to get married. Um, this month, um, this two the next in July, and um, I ordered my most of my things on AliExpress from different retailers. One of them is um, Kiss Beauty Store, and the other is I on online it said TPS. Um, I think it's TPS A A D E Store. They make the suit for male and. Beauty Kiss is the one that makes the wedding dress. I specifically ordered what I saw, like what I see online. They they put up, or so I believe, because when you get the, the goods, it's totally different from what you saw online. The trail, I could go in, inside my closet and take the dress out and show you right now. The trail is nothing comparing to what they have, and they have online. That's with Kiss Beauty Store. And when I tried, I, I noticed they were taking longer than usual. And when I tried reaching out to them, they told me that they're making the suit and it's because of certain things with the virus, you know, that's why it was held up and all of that. After, and I finally received the suit in the package, I thought a wedding dress couldn't look so small. It was just a little piece of material. The, the, the treading was... Ugh, disgusting. If this wasn't going on and I received that, I don't know. My mind would go, I would go off and I'm feeling so hurt. The tread was awful. The treading, the material was totally different from what they advertised. The style is nothing like what they show us. And then the, the, the string, it's tread like someone was wearing it. When I tried to contact, she told me, um, oh, they didn't do it. They said it to another store because they were open. And I'm like, all this time when I keep texting you about my, my outfit for my wedding, you keep telling me, oh, it's in the store and they're making it. So now you're telling me that it's not you guys who made the outfit. I said, that is so unfair. I really need a full refund to go get back another wedding dress. She said, oh, no, we can only give you back. Like she said, something like $20. And I was so annoyed. So I said, oh, no, I'm going to have to put up a review for this. She she looked, she saw the review, and she begged me to take the review down because she said it's going to put a bad look on their store. I thought it was a nice person I was corresponding with throughout the day, and I was, you know, trying to reach out to her and stuff. So I took it down, right? And I decided I'm just going to leave it alone because she said she didn't want to lose her job or anything like that, and I felt so bad. But in the process, I'm losing all of 70-something dollars. So then when the I ordered a suit for my husband from from TSP, from TPS A A D E store. I ordered the gold and white on the on the page because I was trying to, to sign up for that today, and that's how I get back with you guys. And I couldn't sign in because I couldn't find my password or some problem. So I said, let me just go on with you about you just store because I start the dispute again when I realize it's like a pattern. So after she said to me she don't want to lose her job and it's hard to get a job in China, I said, okay, I understand. When the other store said my husband's suit, on the display, it is silver and white because the whole team for the wedding is silver and white. They show you the silk shirt inside that you get and the tie that look like the English tie. And they make believe, they make you believe that that's what you're getting. When the suit come, it's out there, they give me a golden white suit and the, the jacket, the vest for my husband is very short underneath here. And it's gold and white and a piece of string holding a little piece of silver brooch on the front. Who's going to get married in something like that? The whole team is silver and white. So both Kiss Beauty Store and this other store who call themselves TPSAADE, -A -A -E, 
they spoiled the whole outfit for my wedding. From the other sites that I ordered, there was another site there with a floral dress, flower girl dress. I got that and it's fine, right? I got the necklaces that I ordered from another store. Those are okay. But these two people, they messed up. So when I reach out to the guy for the store with my husband's suit, oh, he told me, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, could you please take down the review? It's going to make my store look bad. And I'm like, oh, so this is a pattern. So I hope back the dispute. And I'm like, no. This 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 AliExpress, uh, I don't trust it. This is my first time ordering from you guys and very disappointment. And I would never, I told myself, I would never recommend anybody. So when I reach out to them and ask them if they could refund my, my money, they told me they can only give me back $25. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to stand any more losers. Okay? They offered to give me $30. I said no. If the least I'm going to take from you guys is $45 because they want me to take the dispute down. I said, I'm not taking anything down. I see some money in my account. They text me back to them and said, they can't really give me $30. I said, well, you know what? No, I'm not going to accept that. So I want to know what is this interview about and what's going to be done for me to get back my money for my wedding. Because as you guys can see, what's going on with COVID, it's not easy to lose $150 for nothing. And both both stores do not want to refund back the money. The first one told me, oh, I told her, if you give me $40, I'll take it and finish the dispute and take it off. She's telling me, oh, up to 15 days. I said, I'm not going to remove it until I receive that money in my account because I don't trust you guys anymore. So I feel like they put things up on this website. This is how I feel that they did not make from other people design. Because when I look in other stores, I see the same dress that they're showing on other sites on, on AliExpress. So if it's this one particular store that makes that dress with that particular name, how is it that when I ordered the dress, I didn't get the exact fit? First of all, here is so tight and I give them my size, my measurement, and the bottom is so huge. I couldn't even cry the way I was hurt. So now I want to know what's going to happen with $150 for me. Like, and you know what, again, you can't reach nobody, really. If you don't text them inbox, you can. And if somebody who is not smart enough or don't understand how to go online and do this thing, you get messed up. Because right now they're telling me I should send back some, some number between now and tomorrow. First, they told me 10 days. And now they're telling me by the 16th, if I don't put a... a, a a number, a tracking number on it, then they're going to return the money to the seller. How do you trust site like this? How do you make your customers feel comfortable to buy again? How how do you recommend other people to site like this? Because if I hear somebody say they're going to buy from AliExpress, what do you think I'm going to tell them? Don't. You're going to you're gonna be disappointed. And this is a true experience. I can show you. They're here with me. The top is very small. The top, as you can see, is like there's a jamming thing. It's not the measurement of my, it's not the measurement of my dress, dress at all. And if you look on the thing that I ordered, see, they put a smaller cup in, and it cannot fit. Okay, the stitching right here is not me. Do you see that? Yeah. When I when I reached out to them and I said, but you told me that you got those pieces with the outfit and that's why i ordered it they told me oh luckily sometimes we give the inside pieces to, to people you should see the little time that we can. i don't think that can hold around all this is just i don't know i don't know what word to do honestly i would not recommend it i would tell them they could try because everybody experience is different but there will be a for a big disappointment with my experience. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I am unlucky. But but it makes me realize that what they're putting, they're not the original maker. To me, this looks like some people who are trying some like some people who are gonna try to make some money and then they're taking they're copying from other people also. But that's fine. If you're gonna do the job perfect. If you're going to do the job, just like you put out there and say to consumers, oh, we can do this for you, and it will just like what's on, on, on here. Because people are ordering what they see.
that's what I thought it was. I, I show so many people that wedding dress before I got it, and they thought it was extremely simple, classy, and beautiful. But when I showed them what I got, they were like, no, this is cool. Mm -hmm.